Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this uh, General So's chicken bowl, and I don't even see a brand on here. Uh, just heat and serve. <laughs> now that I'm now I'm curious, and we bought it at Aldi. Uh, Aldi twice as nice. There we go. It's, it's an Aldi brand, that's what it is. Um, twice as nice guarantee. So we bought these at Aldi, they were $2.89, which I don't think that's too bad for what for the size. Um, these were in the refrigerated section, they're not frozen. You can freeze them if you want, and you can even cook them from frozen, but, uh, but they're refrigerated when you buy them. So this one is the battered chicken breast, carrots, broccoli, and chili peppers in a tangy general so sauce over white rice, fully cooked, microwavable, keep refrigerated. Uh, Park Street Deli is kind of what they're calling the brand. Uh, it's 10 ounces or 284 grams. And let's see. So 430 calories. Here's your other information for you. Okay, so to heat this up, we're going to remove it from the sleeve, this paper sleeve. Peel back film to vent. Do not remove film. Place bowl in the microwave. If heating from refrigerated, which this is, we're only going to microwave it for two and a half minutes. And if it is frozen, you can do it for four minutes if it's frozen. Remove it from the microwave. Um, let rest for one minute, carefully taking film off. Avoid hot steam. Stir and enjoy. So let's see what it looks like. I see the peppers in there. Some chicken in there, a little bit. It's not tons, but I see what, four pieces, I think, three or four. So I'm going to peel this to vent it. Just literally like that and get it in the microwave for two and a half minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so I've let it rest a minute and uh, I love the size of the rice. It's a pretty good size uh, pieces of rice in there. So I haven't stirred it yet. So there's, um, that's a pretty good size piece of chicken. Look at that. Pretty good, pretty good size hunk. And then you get two and three. See, I thought they were small pieces of chicken or I thought you only got three pieces, but then I didn't realize how big it was. There's not a lot of, and there's some smaller pieces in there too. There's not a lot of sauce in here. So I do worry a little bit about the rice being dry. So I'm trying to, to make sure I get it all stirred up really good. I will cut these pieces of chicken except for maybe that one. But I'll cut these bigger ones into smaller pieces. That way um, they'll be more bite sized for a review. Yeah. So I'm gonna let this uh, cool it. Wow, look at that pepper. I don't know if I wanna eat that. That's like a, literally a whole, hold on. The whole pepper that is a whole pepper uh, i don't think i'm going to eat that whole pepper by itself well I might we'll see i don't know if i'm that brave so here i'll be back once it's uh, cool off at the table hey gave it some time to cool off i'm going to try a bite of the chicken and rice i'm not going to try that pepper just yet i might i might try it by itself so here we go mm. definitely has some spice to it I mean, I, it's got a little tingle in the back of your throat. I forgot to get a piece of broccoli. Let's if I can get a piece. It's a small piece, but... What's funny is the carrots are actually fairly tender. Let me get another couple just to make sure. Yeah. The carrots are fairly tender. I mean, they have a little crunch to them, so you get a texture to them, but... Um, they're fairly soft. The broccoli, which I only really got two pieces and one is like huge. Um, I'm, I was going to try to cut it in half, but I was having difficulty. Because the stalk or the stem, whatever you want to call it, is kind of tough. There we go. Broke it in half. Um, that is still pretty crunchy. The broccoli is crunchy. Not a bad thing. Um, after I spit chicken out of my mouth, or broccoli out of my mouth. I like the spice level in here. It's really good. Now I'm not going to eat a whole pepper. It's literally just like the skin of the pepper. I'm not even hurting it. That is like rubber. Like eating leather. It wasn't hot. That wouldn't be pleasant to eat though, so I'm not going to eat it at all. I know you were hoping I would eat that, but it's I don't even I don't even know if you're supposed to eat that. It could be just the add flavoring to the rice. I like the flavors. The rice is slightly dry. And some parts of it where it didn't get a lot of sauce in it, the, the rice is a little dry, but it's not like really, really dry, like it's really sticky dry. Um, it's just a little it's not as sauce as I would like. Um, I think this is a good meal. I don't think it's like 
gourmet by any means, but it's definitely a good meal for a frozen meal. I think it's really good and, and uh, the cost was good and um, the flavors are good. They mix well, the textures are all really good, um, except for those peppers. And um, yeah, I do like it. And if you don't like spicy food, you wouldn't want to get this because it is a little spicy, but if you like just a little bit of spice or spicier, um, I think you'll enjoy this. It's not, it's not like really burn your mouth, but you do get a little warmth in the back of your throat. So I'm actually gonna give this one a four out of five. If you see these at your Aldi, definitely worth trying out. They're, they're really good. And you get a ton of chicken. I didn't even cut up. I didn't even start on this huge piece of chicken yet. And I'll have to cut it up into probably four or five pieces. So uh, yeah, there's plenty of chicken. Um, plenty of rice to go around. I think it's a well portioned meal. Um, everything seems to be a good portion size to go with everything else. So yeah, four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.